Definitely looks different, right? Different uh, jersey, different colors, no blue. No Blue Jays, no Leafs. Feels different to be in a Raptors jersey. But nonetheless, happy to do so and happy to talk about a Raptors win in the first game of the season over the Detroit Pistons. And this was a great win. This was a great, great win. We saw a few amazing things tonight. Obviously, winning by a sizable margin is great. Scoring 109 points, obviously great. Giving up only 91 which means the defense was working or just Detroit wasn't shooting well. Nonetheless, Raptors won by a decent margin. Big part to DeMar DeRozan's 40 points. What a night he had. 40 points, 4 boards, and an assist to go along with that. He looked really good tonight, obviously playing really good ball. Uh, you know, he he obviously, he, he's been doing very well. Over the last couple of years, obviously, he's progressed each and every season. Are we going to see some crazy good DeMar DeRozan this year? Kind of like, you know, a huge step. Obviously, with the new contract, you don't know. Maybe he's going to slack off a bit. Not by tonight's standards. He was outstanding. And another big name that did a ridiculous... Something we're looking for big this year, though, you know, is Jonas Valanciunas. He was dynamite tonight. We saw it at points last year and throughout the playoffs. He can be a very, very good player. And he was tonight. 32 points, 11 rebounds, and he had an assist in there. Why not? He was very good. They were feeding him the ball when Drummond was off the court. Obviously, he had the two early fouls, so that played part in that. He was off for a good bit of the first half. So they're just going to throw JV out there with mismatches, and it worked, and he looked outstanding out there. But let's talk about the new guy. Pascal Siakam, he looked pretty darn good if you ask me. He had four points and nine rebounds as well. But that's what we're going to need from him. Nabbing up the bo- those boards. We, he looked really aggressive tonight going up there. Even with JV standing right there, he's like, I want that rebound. Give it to me. And he, he, he was very, very good tonight. I re- was really impressed with him. Tamari Carroll had eight points. He had seven rebounds to go along with that. So the rebounds were a really good thing tonight. Obviously with Carroll with seven, Siakam with nine, and JV with 11. Very good. Now let's keep going down the line. Kyle Lowry had a off night shooting wise, only with ten points, five uh, boards, and eight assists. But nonetheless, it's Kyle Lowry. He does other things to be better. Obviously, with the eight assists, and he contributes to help his team win in other in other category in other ways of the game. He looked very good tonight. Patterson off the bench only had three points, four rebounds. Um, but everybody looked good in my opinion. You know. Portal looked okay. Terrence Ross looked decent at times. Um, You know, Corey Joseph looked okay. But everybody, there was not one guy that I would say, you know, he had a he had a really bad game. No, because everybody, the the difference between this team and the Toronto Maple Leafs is the the chemistry, the confidence in each other, that kind of thing, and that's what these guys have. And they they showed it tonight. They looked really good. Like I said uh, earlier about, obviously, uh, Andre Drummond going out early in foul trouble. Obviously, the two early fouls took him out of the game pretty quick. He looked, that was, I think, a huge key in the game because, you know, you lose, or, or sorry, they lose arguably one of their best players, obviously their best rebounder. So that hurts them in that, in that, at that point. And that was just a huge piece for us, obviously. Getting him in foul or in foul trouble is great. So, was overall a good game? Absolutely. They outscored them in, let me calculate, yep, in every single quarter. When you're going to do that, you're going to win a game. And they did just that. They didn't crush them in all oh, the first quarter. They were up by 10. But the rest, they were up by 2 in the quarter, up by 3, and then 3. So they won every quarter, not by a whole lot, the, the second, third, and fourth. But they won them. So nonetheless, you're going to win that game. And they did, and they looked really strong doing it. Um, overall, Raptors shot 40, uh, 48%. Pretty decent, right? They're, they're good there. Uh, Three-pointer was a tough time tonight, though. Obviously, 3 for 18, 17% from deep. Not too great. 24 of 29 for three uh, for the free throws, though. 83% there. A lot of those were JV's early ones. Totally fine with that. We out-rebounded them. 
51 to 40. So that's very good. And this is a big one that I think is where Siakam and JV's development is going to come in huge. The offensive rebounds. We won 14 to 8 in that category. That's something that obviously second chance points are a huge part of the game, right? You miss a shot. Instantly, you're thinking, oh, it's just going to go back the other way. But if a, one of your big men, or even a small guy like Kyle Lowry, because there's never a ball out of his way, can get in there, get in the greasy area, get the rebound, kick it, or put it up, or whatever, whoever's on you, and get the extra points, that's huge. Those are huge in the playoffs as well. They, offensive rebounds and putbacks, they get your team fired up. A lot of great ball movement again tonight. They looked very good. 17 assists along with eight steals, only 11 turnovers throughout the four quarters, looked very good. Overall, they looked pretty darn good today. But that's not the big test. The big test is uh, Friday night. <laughs> hey, Friday night at the Air Canada Centre, the Cleveland Cavaliers pay a visit. Woo! We're already, we're already in the craziness, aren't we? We go from the Pistons to start off the season, good solid win, and to the team that eliminated you last year and the NBA champions, Cleveland Cavaliers, come to town. King James and the Cavs. It's gonna be an it's gonna be a doozy of a game, that's for sure. I'm gonna be watching that obviously, and it's gonna be a dogfight. I think we can all agree with that. But who's gonna step up though, right? Who's gonna be that guy? Can you know Siakam and JV outdo? Uh, you know, Tristan Thompson and and how's Damari Carroll going to defend LeBron James, right? Lowry and, and, and Kyrie, you know, DeMar, DeMar and Kevin Love or whoever they have out there at the times. It's going to be a dog fight. We know that. It's going to be interesting. I can't wait. Nonetheless, good start to the season. I think we can all agree with that. A solid, nice, was it, 18 point win? Let me do the math here. Uh, jeez. See, this is how you know I've been out of school for a little bit, you know. Nine. Yeah, 18 point. Whew, 18 point win in your first game. I get the team that's arguably a playoff team, more or less in the 7 8 spot, but they're a playoff team. And to take them out like that at home and kind of dominate the whole game, we'll take that any day. So, that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video and you enjoyed the ball game, I can say I can still say ball game, because it still works. Hit that like button. I really do appreciate it. Subscribe if you guys are excited for more Raptors content, and I also ex uh, so, uh, excited for Friday's game against the Cavs. Hit that subscribe button because it's going to be a great game to watch. We'll talk about that after. And comment down below what you guys what you guys, what your guys positives out of this game was, and 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 any negatives you guys picked out. Let me know what you guys think, and we'll talk to you guys. Well. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow night, leave post game. But if we're talking basketball, we'll talk to you guys Friday night post game. Cavaliers, Raptors. We'll see you then.